Hi and welcome to this video. So the chances are there that you know the following situation. You want to break into the industry, quit your job and finally become that professional full-time composer and also making some money with your music. And then you start writing emails to video game or licensed music companies. You try to collaborate with other composers. You try to get in contact with all kinds of film people. Or you're pitching for projects, which basically means competing with others to get the gig. And you try everything you can think of, but actually nothing seems to work. So the next thing that happens is that you probably start doubting yourself and also there's this unsettling feeling of confusion. How can it be that I am this skilled composer investing that much time, blood, sweat and tears into writing music, but no matter what I do, nobody wants to work with me. And then the following starts happening. The process of thinking that you are a failure or that it wasn't meant to be. And honestly, I have seen a lot of composers quitting their career because of this. So now let's talk about this one thing that you need to change that may have positive impact on your entire career as a music composer. So let's start analyzing the following process first. We as music composers obviously write music. A finalized piece of music that can then be sold and used in film, video games or as trailer and licensed music. But what if I told you that this is some kind of a bubble we live in? We are music composers, so we have to deliver finalized pieces of music. So the first thing you need to do is break away from this finished product mentality. There is more to that track than just this finalized stereo audio file. There is also your entire creative process of writing this track. There is your use of sample libraries and the plugins you use to process it. And last but not least, the MIDI arrangement. Now there is another bubble we have to talk about. You are only a true music composer if you have success in film, video games, license, trailer music or in short media projects in general. And I mean, this is what we experience every day on social media, on award shows and so on. You only made it when you worked on some big projects and from there continue to do so. So I would say change your mentality to I am successful when I can make a living with what I love doing, writing music. So don't get me wrong here, I'm not saying that it is a bad thing to work on media projects. I personally love it, but not 20 hours a day and then worrying about finding that next potential project. And the typical argument from other composers that you hear is that you should put money on the side, that you should build a saving. But why not investing into something and building something that literally makes you money while sleeping. Now let's combine these two things here and let me give you some inspiration and motivation. So let's break free from the need to create that finalized piece of music and focus on, for example, creating MIDI arrangements instead. And then you can start selling these MIDI arrangements online. You can also think about selling plugin settings for specific plugins and sample libraries or even entire digital audio workstation session templates with plugin settings, for example, for a specific instrument instruments. And the best thing, then you can even start creating courses teaching others how to do the same. So coming back to the media arrangements here for a second, what do we do usually when we as composers try to find inspiration for our next track? We listen to the music of others. We study and analyze scores. We sit with our instruments and try to come up with something. Or we go out into nature, play a video game, watch a movie, whatever. So summing this up, we always rely on something consciously or subconsciously that we have heard or learned before. And if we have learned it, we probably did it by hearing an audio example or reading a score done by someone else. So to make it short, you can't create something that hasn't been existing before. However, it is on you on how to creatively combine all the bits, the licks and the patterns as original as possible. So if we rely on all of these things to find inspiration, why not be the one offering, for example, MIDI arrangements to give people a chance to dive directly into an arrangement within their digital audio workstation. Even more, why not be the one educating others on how to arrange for orchestral music with these MIDI arrangements? Why not be the one creating that supporting product for other composers during a crunch phase or a tight deadline? So in general, MIDI arrangements can be a viable business model and it will allow you to make a living with music 
without relying on anyone else's approval. Also, it will take away a massive portion of your worrying process. For example, on how to find the next project or the other way around, how to reduce your workload if you got too much stuff going on. So again, break free from that mindset that you have to write that finalized audio file. And also break free from that mindset that you're only a successful composer when you have worked on successful media projects or won an award. And by the way, only because it didn't happen yet that you worked on a video game, for example, or a trailer album, it does not mean that it never will. And even better, maybe it will happen because of something that already generates money. Okay, so let me know if this video was helpful to you and most important, if you want to see a follow-up of this topic. And in case this video was helpful to you, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, just in case if you haven't already. Thanks so much for checking out this video. I would be happy to hear from you and bye for now.